Camels are one of the new mobs coming to Minecraft in the 1.20 Trails and Tales update. If you're planning to use this majestic animal to get around in your world, and I highly recommend that you do, you're going to need a place to keep them. So today I'll be showing you how to build some stables for your camels. If you're building this in survival, you can head down to the description and check out the materials list for all of the items needed for the build. One last thing before we get started here, if you don't already know, camels spawn in desert villages, so you have to head there to get yourself one. The first thing we're going to do is grab some chiseled sandstone and we're just going to place one block right here with a cut sandstone to the right and to the left, just like that. And it's worth mentioning this part right here that we're building is this section in the finished product. So just bear that in mind as far as location is concerned. But then we're going to grab some more chiseled sandstone and we're going to come to the left hand block here next to the cut sandstone, leave a gap of two, place another, leave another gap of two and place one more. Then come round to this side and leave a gap of three, then come round to the back with a gap of two and then another gap of two. Then we can come back to the front here next to the right hand cut sandstone and we're going to leave a gap of three this time and have another chiseled, then another gap of three and another one, come round to the back and have another gap of three. And that is the general layout all done with this side being the front. With these blocks in place we can now grab some smooth sandstone and on these four chiseled blocks at the front we're going to place three full smooth sandstone blocks on top of them just like that. On top of the two cut sandstone here we can just step inside and place two full blocks and then two stairs facing towards each other like that. Then we can come out to the outside here and in between this two block gap we're just going to have an upside down stair on both sides facing into each other making this archway that the camel will actually enter inside of. Same again over here although you will need to just place a temporary block to actually get the stair in position and over on this side we're going to do the same just slightly longer so one stair here, temporary block, another stair with a slab in the middle. Now we're going to move around to the left hand side here and do the same with the smooth sandstone on this chiseled block so three blocks up. Then we're going to grab some sandstone walls and have three across the bottom. Then we're going to have a sandstone stair facing forward on either side with a slab in the middle and then underneath these stairs we'll have some smooth sandstone slabs. Moving on further round to the back of the build we're going to do the same again on these chisel blocks so three smooth sandstone. And then we're going to grab some sandstone stairs and place two upside down at the bottom here as well as two upside down at the top, just like that. Then we can grab some smooth sandstone stairs and we're going to place two upside down facing towards each other like that on both of the gaps and then two smooth sandstone slabs underneath. We're actually going to skip this middle section for now and move further on round to this section right here, doing the same with the smooth sandstone on top of the chiseled sandstone. And essentially we're just making what we have done over here except one block longer, like we did with the front entrance way. So we'll start with some upside down sandstone stairs on the top and the bottom, just like that. Then we can grab some smooth sandstone stairs and place one of them upside down next to each wall with a slab in the middle and then three slabs underneath those blocks. For this side round here, hello camel, <laughs> we're going to do a bit of a different thing because this is actually where our staircase is going to go so we can actually get on top of the roof. So the first thing we're going to do just from the top of these blocks right here, we're going to place some sandstone slabs going all the way across. The camel's already making himself very much so at home. <laughs> then we're going to grab a smooth sandstone and just place it next to that chiseled block right there. Then to the right we're going to place two more, then three more, then four more, just like that, making this stairway which we can actually go ahead and place some stairs on top of, but not the top block like that. You want to keep that one perfectly flat. Now we can work on the final side here, which is built mostly on a diagonal, so it's a little bit trickier, but it's not too bad, just follow along closely. So we're going to start on one of the sides here, doesn't matter which because it's actually symmetrical, and we're going to start by placing a cut sandstone block on the inside next to that chiseled block, with a smooth sandstone stair on top of it, like that. 
Then we can grab some regular sandstone stairs and place it facing away from that cut sandstone. So just like that with another one facing this way so that it curves round. So make sure you're not doing anything like that. You want to place it so that one's facing towards us and that one curves around slightly. We can then grab our spruce door and what we're going to do is just step behind these blocks and we're going to place it on this block right next to it in the corner. So you get the actual door handle that side instead of that side. So just make sure you're clicking on this corner of the block so that opens into the actual stairs as opposed to away from it. I know that may seem unnecessarily complicated, but it will make sense in just a little bit. Bear with me. So now what we can do is grab some smooth sandstone stairs and we're going to place two of them on top of the regular stairs facing towards each other. Then we can grab some temporary blocks and just place one here above the stair on the inside and have an upside down stair coming off of it. Then we can place another temporary block just on top of our doorway here and do the same thing to make this square window. Then on top of these stairs, we can actually place some more stairs, but first we got to place another temporary block right here and essentially do the same thing as what we did down the bottom. So stair facing away from it and then one facing towards us. So it curves around just like we have at the bottom. Then lastly, we're just going to have a regular stair here and an upside down smooth stair right there. And of course, go ahead and get rid of the temporary block. So you should end up with something like this. And what you can now go ahead and do is copy it around to this side exactly the same way as they are both perfectly symmetrical. In the end, you should have two identical walls that are built exactly the same and two doors in the middle. And it's just worth mentioning, make sure they open up away from each other and you don't have one going a different direction. You want a double door that opens nicely so you can walk on through. And lastly, all we need to do here is just place two full smooth sandstones next to the sandstone stairs and next to the smooth sandstone stairs. So it completes it from the outside. Now we're going to start work on the top part or the roof of the stables, whatever you want to call it, but it's going to be made out of cut sandstone and cut sandstone slab. So we just want to start in this corner right here, just beside the staircase and place a full block. And essentially we're just switching between slabs and full blocks all the way around on top of every single flat block. So not including these two stairs, just going all the way around following that pattern. Until you get to this final block right here at the top of the staircase where instead of having a slab, you just want to have nothing. So it makes access in the roof that little bit easier. What we can then do super quickly is grab some oak buttons and just place one of them on all of the outside faces on the full cut sandstone block. So obviously where there's a corner, there'll be two of them as I'm doing here. But when there's just the one side, there's just a single button. So don't place them on the inside or anything like that. You just want it on the outer facing blocks all the way around. Now we're going to head up to the top level via our staircase with some spruce trap doors in hand. And what we want to do from these three slabs here is place three trap doors in front of them. It's very important we keep them at the same level as these blocks as opposed to one block or a couple of pixels above it. So we want it flat with these blocks right here. And then we can just crouch as we do this, most likely just bridging across like so if you're in survival. But essentially, you want to place trapdoors on all of these open spaces where you can see inside the build facing the same direction. So you just want to go around crouching as you do it, placing all the trapdoors into each other and make sure they're all going the same way. So when you get to this point here, you have to go all the way across and then all the way back and pretty much just make sure you don't have one going to the side like that as it's super obvious and breaks the consistency of all of these trap doors and it's super obvious and you can spot it from a mile away. So just make sure the trap doors are all facing the same direction like that. At this point, we just have to add in the final little details, starting with our fence gates going across these two sections and this third one over here to, of course, keep the camel in their pen. And then we're also going to add a little bit of lighting, starting off on this top block with an oak fence and a lantern hanging down from underneath. And the same again over here, just one block lower. So we have some height difference and it's not all completely symmetrical. Then we're just going to do something about this vast amount of empty sandstone. It looks like it needs breaking up. So we're just going to add some oak signs going all the way around here for a nice little wooden trim. 
Over here by our staircase, we're going to add some hay bales stacked up for our camels to eat. So we're going to have one here facing upwards in the corner, another one here, one to the side, another one facing up. And then if we just do temporary block and we'll have this one facing forwards just so they're all sort of rotated differently. We're also going to have a chest here and here just for some excess storage. And then beside this chest, we're actually going to have a little water trough that we can refill the camel's water with. So we're going to have a cauldron here with a tripwire hook acting as a tap connected to some sort of underwater or underground reservoir, let's pretend. And of course, you just want to fill that cauldron with some water. So that's the outside all done. We're just going to head on inside now and actually section off all of the pens starting in the larger pen. And we're just going to put two sandstone walls across from each of the cut blocks right there. Over in this corner, we're going to have a cauldron filled up with water, of course, for the camel to drink out of. And then we're just going to have some hay bales kind of stacked up on the side here. It doesn't really matter how you place them. Just try and vary the direction a little bit like we did with the outside. Then we're going to exit out and go into these two over here, which are significantly smaller. So we're just going to have two sandstone walls here again, like over on that side, and three across the middle here. And because they're a little bit smaller, we've really only got room for two cauldrons, which I'm just going to place in both of the corners. Of course, you can change up where you have them, but there is only virtually six box in both of these and I do feel a little bit bad for these camels because there isn't really room for any food because it messes up the wall like that and in my opinion doesn't look that great so you can either have some hay bales or just starve the two camels that are living inside of here. I'm just going to pretend the two small pens are constantly going in and out and the bigger one can be a camel staying in there a bit more long term. That'll make me feel better about myself. The final thing to do is to head round to the back of the build and come through our double doorway and over here in this small section we're not going to have any camels instead we're just going to have a crafting table if you happen to need it, a little bit of lighting and two double chests for whatever storage needs you may have. I'm also going to mention really quickly if you want to build something up here on the roof of the stables you can these are blocks that are able to be placed upon as long as you're crouching so if you want some more storage this might be the place to go but I just like this for a nice view of the surrounding area. Before we go, I've just got one final recommendation, and that is, assuming you're building the stables on top of sand, you can mix in some texture using some upside down sandstone stairs to get this type of block, and just some regular sandstone slabs, or any other type of sandstone will actually look like this on top, but slabs are probably the cheapest. So if you want to, you can come inside of some of the stables here and just mix in some of these blocks to get a little bit of texture into your floor. And you can even do some on the outside here just to bring that on outwards and kind of gradually phase it out into just regular sand. Just like this. Very simple to do and quite effective. But of course, you don't have to. You can just skip that step entirely. And instead, move on to something much more fun by getting your camels into position. Watch for the ear waggle. He's going to do it. Any second now. Oh my goodness, is that not the cutest thing ever? Well, I think it's safe to say these guys are feeling very at home in their new stables. So there we go, everybody. That's going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you enjoy riding around on your camels in the Trails and Tales update. I know I certainly will. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.